You might already be familiar with OpenAPI's code gen capabilities, which allows us to generate boilerplate's API server code from the API specification file. In case you have the API server code already, then you can use the doc gen and generate the OpenAPI specification from it. In this demo, I want to show you a round trip of going from a specification to code and then back to specification from code. Let's see what happens. So right here in front of you, you can see an open API specification. It's a very simple specification. It has only one path called product, which basically has a post and that is to create a product. And this is pretty straightforward, has just two response codes, 201 and uh, 400 for a bad request. Uh, so let's basically go here and run this command, uh, which is an open API generator, which will take the specification file that we were just looking and generate a Spring Boot application from it. Let me quickly run this script and you will see it do its magic. And there we have, it's basically generated the code for us. Let's look at here. You would see that this code is generated and you have the controller and other classes all being generated uh, by this. This is pretty good. Now let's make sure that this generated code is in fact working. So what we will do is we will essentially use Maven and uh, bring up this application that was just generated to make sure that everything's fine. And uh, there we go. It looks like the application is working perfectly fine and it's up. So now let's simply download the specification from the generated code. And so I'm just going to quickly hit this. And uh, what this is going to do is it's going to download the API YAML file, uh, which is the specification file. And we're saving this as a generated file. So here on the left, you will see now we have a generated file and we have a specification file. Now, I want to compare these two files and see uh, what happens. Ideally, this is a typical round trip test where you generate some code from the specification. We've not made any changes to the code. And then we've generated the specification from that same code back. And we would make sure, we ideally would want to make sure that the two specifications are identical. Let's quickly compare them and see what happens here. So here on the left is the original specification that we started off with. And on the right is the generated specification. What we see is in the generated specification, it has kind of dropped the example, both the examples in the request and response is kind of lost. Mm, I'm not too happy about that. Uh, what else is happening here? Uh, I see another difference here. So in our original schema, we had basically product composed of by using all of. We were composing a product with an ID and essentially a product details, right? And this is, uh, what is the product details? Product details essentially contains the details about the product itself that we require when creating the product, right? So the name, the price, the type. So when you're creating the product that is in the post request, essentially you would send the name, price and type. And then uh, when you query this product after it's created, then ideally you would get the name, price, type, and you would also get the ID. That's the full product, right? So instead of duplicating the two, we are composing a product with product details and ID using an all of. Uh, but unfortunately, what's happened here is you will see that the product actually has duplicated all this information. And then there is product details again that has the same thing. So between the product and product details, we seem to have duplicated this information. Hmm. And it's kind of lost this all off completely. So I'm not too thrilled about this. This seems like there could be a room for improvement over here. When something as simple as the round trip test fails, then it's very hard for me to trust the capabilities of CodeGen and DocGen, which I don't know how a lot of people are relying on, but I'm really concerned. So again, next time you think about CodeGen, DocGen, think of this example and ask yourself, is this really reliable?